Hi, I'm health and grooming expert Ahmed Zambarakshi and I'm here to give you the ultimate grooming guide for 2011. Most guys are pretty comfortable with washing their own hair, but they miss a couple of basics. First thing you've got to remember is not to overload your hair with far too much product and create an unnecessary amount of lather. All you need is a 10 piece size dollop, work it into the hair, create a lather for about 30 seconds. When you rinse though, use lukewarm water which will help dissolve all of the dirt and grease that's in your hair and scalp. Uh, the other thing is a lot of guys don't use conditioner. Um, I highly recommend that you would and if you do decide to use a conditioner make sure you work it through from the root to the tip of the hair rather than massage it into the scalp. When it comes to brushing your teeth you have the choice between a manual brush and an electric brush. To be honest with you the only difference is the amount of effort that it's going to require so if it were up to me I'd choose an electric toothbrush. The difference with electric brushing is it doesn't require you to move from side to side or up or down or apply too much pressure to the gum. All you need to do is spend two minutes, which is probably a lot longer than you think it is, with the brush head focused on each tooth for a couple of seconds. As I said, don't apply too much pressure and don't move the brush head. Always floss. Every single day is try and remove plaque buildup, even if you don't think anything's there or you can't see anything. A lot of the damage is going to be invisible to the eye. Most of us have to shave every single day, so I'm going to show you how to do it properly. One of the most common gripes that guys complain about is irritation, nicks and cuts, and most of the time that's due to insufficient preparation. So to prep your skin, you really need to cleanse thoroughly to remove all the dead skin, all the microscopic dirt, so that you've got a smooth landscape for the razor to glide over. To get the closest possible shave, it's really important to pull the skin taut with one hand while you hold the blade in the other. Now, as you pass the blade down the surface of the skin, always try and follow the direction of the hair growth. This is called the grain. Um, if you take a really good look in the mirror, you'll, you'll find that your hair grows in all kinds of directions further down your neck. The closest you can follow this, the better the shave you will get. It's really important to change your blade the moment you notice any drag whatsoever. If there's the slightest bit of resistance, you're more than likely to get razor bumps and ingrown hairs. The other thing to remember is that if it's been sitting on your shelf for a really long time, there's a good chance there's a fair amount of bacteria festering away on that blade. So just remember to change regularly. If there are three key things you need to remember about shaving, it's that one, you should always prepare your skin adequately with enough lubrication so that the blade can glide over the skin. Two, always follow the grain of the hair. And three, repair any damage, even if it isn't visible to the eye, with an aftershave bar.